All right, well, I got so busy with this, I forgot to check my recording time, and my camera stopped recording because it's got that 30-minute stop on it. Um, anyhow, uh, the solution I'm going to look at for this is changing this pawl shape so that it's got an angle like this for the detent so it's going to lock in a bit better because currently when it goes in it's got it angles like that and so when the push rod is resting against it it wedges out and pushes the pawl out um, and that means it takes more pressure to keep the pawl in place uh, so the engine has to run faster to get the pressure off of the governor for that to happen so um, yeah, uh, there's also a millimeter of gap here, so there's room for me to put a shoe on the end, I think. <coughs> wow, excuse me. Um, that'll have the right shape? Oh yeah, because uh, the other thing is there's... A big, it's a millimeter and a half space uh, between the full travel of the push rod latching space here and the pawl. So I have plenty of room to build to make a tiny, uh, better profile shoe that I'll just probably super glue on the end of this pawl um, and that will with a better profile uh, hopefully make this engine run a bit slower because this pawl will be able to hold the exhaust push rod open uh, better so And then, yeah, with that, hopefully, uh, I know that uh, Thomas PC Guru's channel, he said he put lead weight, uh, drilled out and put lead in the weights to make them heavier. Um, I certainly don't have facility for that, but uh, I think having a better, better profile on the latch here is going to be a good solution for slowing this engine down a little bit, but... Uh, yeah. Gonna make a plan for that. Uh, leave the flywheel off the side here, and I did put the head on, I think after I forgot, or after I didn't notice that the, um, camera had quit. Uh, because of that O-ring, uh, it's even more important that this engine have the liner even or a little bit proud of the casting to make sure there's a good seal there but looks good otherwise um, and I'm still super excited because this this head cast here is um, an incredibly classic authentic uh, head design I forget what model what brand of American engine had a head that looked just like this but it's effectively a copy of a real-life engine head just because that's a very convenient easy arrangement to make so um, super pleased with the appearance of this engine and I'm gonna make a plan for the little shoe to put on that pawl and we'll try that out in a bit <laughs> 